Hello and welcome to The Engine Room on Bomber TV, the show that takes you behind the scenes of the Essendon Football Club. Each and every week we'll have a rotating bench of assistant coaches to take us into the inner sanctum of the club. We'll be talking about everything that happens on the field, but also everything that happens off the field as well from around the locker room. This week we've got Simon Goodwin and also Brendan McCartney. Boys, welcome. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Justin. Now, Brendan, I believe you've already introduced a couple of really important rules to the club since you arrived. Uh, would they be along the lines of no teasing? No teasing. Would that be right, Simon? Well, you're the king of it, so <laughs> keep going. I'm the king of it. Uh, I think the king of receiving it. I think uh, there's three important rules. Yeah, uh, no gang-ups and no wind-ups. However, uh, not too many people have taken much notice of those things, Justin. <laughs> Especially the bloke on my left. <laughs> it's, fa it's fair to say, though, Brendan, that you're a big part of all those? Well, possibly. In yes. terms of nicknames, <laughs> they're very important at football clubs, and I believe... You've already got a couple for yourselves. By his own recollection and his own admission, Mac has called himself Genius, is it, Goody? Genius. It was the first thing he said to me when he walked in. He said, uh, my name's Genius. That's what I expect to be called. So, um, um, and Simon retorted with, on brains. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, the Genius and brains in action and uh, going along smoothly. And Mac, you've obviously come down the highway from Geelong and you drive up every day to be here at Windy Hill. 11 years at the club, two premierships, must have been a big decision for you. Why is it that you did come to Essendon? It was a big decision. Uh, I'd probably reached a time in the coaching life, Justin, where I felt a, a new challenge was needed. And Essendon were a young list that uh, perhaps with some good... No, we're not... I could say this is right, with, with some help and some strong training and direction and opportunity to work with some other younger coaches who... Uh, I'd look forward to working with and had a couple of chats to James Heard and like what I heard and like what I saw and uh, no disrespect to Geelong, it was just I felt after 11 years there it was probably time for them to have some different people around them and different voices and uh, bring my ideas somewhere else. So. You're well respected as one of the best tacticians in the game. Can you talk us through the rapid fire drill? I don't know about tacticians <laughs> and I think Goody's already had a bit of a wind up there. <laughs> Just, no, no, no. Always a goodie, take us through it. For all you people out there in Bomberland, uh, rapid fire is a drill where uh, you get very puffed and you have to run and you have to kick the ball under pressure. And uh, We call it the wake up drill on Monday mornings. Get you out of your weekend slumber. And goodie for yourself, you've obviously come over from the city of churches where essentially you were considered God. Um, a big move to come not only to Essendon but also to Melbourne. Why did you come? Oh, look, it was a big move to leave Adelaide, you know, born and bred there, grew up, played all my footy there and um, obviously had a big emotional attachment to the footy club, but uh, to leave there I thought it was important for me to really go and broaden my horizons, um, get into Melbourne, get into a big club and um, Essendon to me really appealed, you know, they, um, they've got a very talented list that you know, I feel was underachieved in the last few years and um, it was an exciting challenge to come and work with James. Um, the genius and uh, Sean Wellman and Dean Wallace and, and then you throw Bomber in on top of that it's um, you know it's going to be a great learning experience for myself and uh, you know my role is to obviously help the club have the success that I think it can achieve. Fantastic now I'm not too sure that genius is the right word for Macker I believe you had a bit of a not so genius moment at a concert recently. Yeah we went <laughs> to the that? U2 concert with a couple of mates and he said I'll meet you at half time for a beer and uh, <laughs> I was a bit stumped at the time, but then when <laughs> Brains finally worked it out, there wasn't going to be a half-time, and Genius had sent me a fair few there, so we still haven't caught up for that beer yet, but uh, looking forward to it at some stage. Boys, I know we don't like to individualise with players, but since you've both arrived, who are just a couple of names that have really impressed you about the way they've gone about their footy and their training, and obviously this pre-season for the Essendon Footy Club is all about hard work and improvement and development, but a couple of guys that have impressed you both? Uh, I could probably answer that with, I've been really impressed with how all the players have come on board, to be honest. I think they've all been really receptive to learning and we've had a lot of education sessions and training has been different. It's been a lot messier, a lot more game related and also fairly challenging, I think. And even people that have been in the industry a long time and played a lot of footy have embraced it and have really bought into the, the extra learning and the extra commitment we put onto them. So. Probably no one for me in particular, but I've been really impressed with how coachable they've been, which, which all goes well, I think, for our future and our, our possibilities in the next few years. 
and goody for the, for the Bomber fans out there as well, getting on board, supporting the club, signing up as members. From what you've seen, and you're the most fresh out of the game, out of anyone in the coaching panel, can this club really make some big steps in the coming years? Well, I think they can. You know, I've seen it in training already. We've only been going six or seven weeks, but from the day that we walked into the first session yeah. to where we are today, um, you sit back and you watch training when you get home after training on your computer and you just see the improvement that we've seen over the last seven weeks. It's, it's actually exciting for us to be involved in and us to see some of the stuff that we're implementing that the players are just learning um, at such a rapid pace and it's, uh, you know, their ability to learn quickly and, and want to learn has been um, the key to why we're seeing this improvement. Yeah. All right, now a segment on this show we're going to do every week is called Access All Areas. Boys, Michael Hibbard was taken, or Hibbard, uh, I'm not sure how he likes to pronounce. Any, any ideas there? Uh, we just call him Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier. We know what he looks like and we know how he plays. He took the last spot on the senior list in the pre-season draft. Um, we're just going to be taking a look at a bit of vision of him being introduced to yourselves there at the pre-season there in the Essendon boardroom. Can you tell us a little, little bit about him as a player from your first impressions so far? Oh, from what from what I've seen, you know he's a you know a genuine defender that can run and carry with the footy. He reads the play extremely well. Um, he's been playing at Frankston for a little while in the VFL and, and played in. Um, he's been involved in two VFL team of the years, so he knows how to play the game. He looks to me like a natural footballer, and with a bit of everyday training about him, he's going to develop into a really nice player for us. Yeah, he's jumped into training, hasn't he? Mm. He's really he's put himself right in the middle of drills, and he's happy to have the ball in his hands. And, Get involved. It's a bit of a tick for Shannon Grant too. I think a VFL coach who's probably has access to a lot of those players that tear down and gets an intimate knowledge of them, either coaching or coaching against them, and it's a proving each year a, a good developing ground for, for prospective AFL players. Often two or three years after the draft age, who weren't ready at 18 at 20, 21, and, and we we want to support Shannon. He's he's put his hand up for him, and we've backed him in and. We think we've got a pretty good player. Yeah, fantastic. Obviously, development's a, a key part of the Essendon mm. Football Club, the Jack Jones Academy, uh, with Dean Wallace and also Hayden Skipworth yep. also involved there, so that's fantastic. Uh, in terms of now in the build-up to round one, obviously the Christmas break, um, does training change at all post-Christmas and into January as we head towards playing some games? More match-like play. We, we've started to do some of it, but uh, we'll, we'll rejig some of the conditioning too, it'll be a bit more game specific and a bit more contact, a bit more huff and puff, putting them in situations where they're very puffed and they've got to think their way through it. So probably, I guess, an extension on what they've done before Christmas. Have you been uh, getting involved in the harder. drills, Goody? Uh, limited. I've been doing a bit of the running, but uh, I think yesterday was probably my first day I joined in for a little bit, but uh, I soon realised that. <laughs> I'm much better retired. Justin, we don't put him in the drills because he's a ball hog. <laughs> I think I saw He draws the ball and he clogs the corridor. And the and players target them, him, don't they? And we, we want the young guys physical. to learn where to run and he, he keeps bobbing up with the ball. He's still pretty good at it. Well, boys, thanks very much for joining us on the engine room for the first time. You've both been stars and uh, we really appreciate your time. We'll see you here, no doubt, very soon. And uh, we'll see you next week on Bomber TV and the engine room.